Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Well, hi there. Would you like to try something to eat? Huh? Huh? Yeah. Oh, there you go. That's really good. One thing for sure, forest cobras very seldom are picky eaters. Unlike you, Mr. Mamushi, you are a terrible eater. You're just a nightmare. piece of substrate there, huh, bud? Huh, you want another one? He's still working on it. Come on. Yep, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Yeah, huh? Come on. Here you go. Well, that's very nice, huh? That's very nice. All right, that's the last one there, bud. <laughs> that's right, take it with some gusto. That thump could only be Elvis indicating that uh, he wants me to know that he wants to come out. And I'm ignoring him because obviously I'm, I'm a bit busy with these little uh, forest cobra babies. Simply beautiful, beautiful cobras, but Man, are they nuts. They're real tricky to handle. Even for me. Uh, absolutely uh, strikes fear in my heart uh, handling snakes. Huh? Uh, mambas are not nearly as, uh, as frightening. Hi, okay. All right, well, you're going to be... Uh, now you got a full tummy. You're going to be a little bit uh, uh, imposing, huh? All right. Go back there and just uh, relax and digest your food.
Okay, here's the little female. Here's the little female. Oh, uh, no nonsense there. No nonsense there. Hi, baby. Go ahead. No one's going to hurt you. Go on. Okay, any time now. I see you breathing really heavy. Is that camera weirding you out, huh? Is that camera weirding you out? I'll just move it back, see if that works. Hmm. back so you're a little bit more in the dark, huh? Okay, well I'm just gonna move on. I'll let you eat that and I'll come back to you. Well, she ate the first one and grabbed the second, but again is frozen because she's frightened. Doesn't want to get that thing in her throat and not be able to defend herself. Hmm? All right, you're shy. You're shy. We're going to do this again, huh? How about we close this so you eat? You'll get used to me. There we go. Three's the charm. Yeah, look. All I'm going to do is knock that out. Okay, you got it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. There you go. There you go. All right. We got a full tummy. We got a full tummy. Now relax and grow. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen the little forest cobra in a couple of days. Um, what's up? Hi. I know I see you. Are you in shed? Now, why did you have to do that? Because now I've got this up, and if I let it down, it's going to crush your little ass. I know, I know. Well, there you are. Well, you're not so little anymore. You, you grow leaps and bounds. Hi. I know you're big and bad. I know I see you. You know, this is about the size that I probably wouldn't want it gnawing on my pant leg anymore. Um, I think, I think we should probably give it a spray down. Just, just to wet its eyes and make it really unhappy. You know, it looks thirsty. It's got water, but you know, I keep telling people that just because it has a water dish doesn't mean that it will actually drink from it. And 
72% humidity in the room here. So at least there's a reasonable amount of moisture. Hello. You want some? You want some? Well, if you come forward and not try to kill me, I would give you some right from the nozzle. Here. Here. Oh, I see your little tongue going. Come on, we're not having some sort of you know, pissing match here is we're trying to get some water down your snout because you were probably hiding all this week because you were you're opaque, you're not opaque now, but you definitely look like you're getting ready to shed. So that's why I dropped in on you. You know, forest culbers are so food oriented, you know, if you don't see them, it means that they're in shed or have escaped from the cage and you just don't know it yet. <laughs> Uh, normally they're like the other chow hounds in the room here. They're, you know, right at the glass. Every time you come in the room, do you have something for me or not? Okay, so, well, that's our uh, quick visit with um, Mr. Forrest Cobra. Well, the py pygmy mulga snake that I've been ra raising from a hatchling uh, got moved over to his own larger quarters and it's like the first time we ever met, I, you know, and he's been with me and I've fed him uh, since uh, birth. He's probably well over a year old now, but, you know, they don't take change uh, very well. Uh, he, has, uh, he has his furniture from his tub. Uh, he has lots of room to, uh, to whiz around uh, and he, boy, but he's flattened out and showing me uh, that he is not happy at all. Um, now we have special accommodations for him. Uh, because he's still small, I put a piece of weather stripping in here. Uh, so he can't possibly, uh, or uh, the chance is not zero, but it's very low that he can actually scoot his head and body through that. But we just take uh, great caution because uh, we don't want one of those loose in the uh, place. And because this causes a lot of friction uh, when moved, I put uh, an aluminum bar so when you close this, it doesn't automatically pull this side open and it stays you know, pretty close to being closed. Uh, uh, but boy, is he unhappy, or she is unhappy. Uh, maybe if I had uh, a little something uh, uh, for food, uh, maybe she would uh, uh, change her attitude because when she was in her tub up until today, she was, you know, very relaxed, kicked back, uh, would actually come forward and take food off the tongs and stuff. Uh, but, uh, you know, they don't really, uh, really like change all that much. So it'll take a, a week or two or maybe more. Uh, for her to get used to her new quarters and uh, to remember who in the hell I am. Of course, you know, she can't taste who I am uh, uh, because the, the door is shut and, you know, the airflow is pretty well cut off except for, you know, through the roof there. And that's open for, for airflow. Um, but, yeah, she is, uh, she's, she's a cranky beast right now. Well, we have uh, some new arrivals uh, from a friend uh, uh, out in the Central States area. I won't say exactly where. Uh, his name is Sergey, uh, good friend of mine, uh, very generous person. Uh, I've got some other animals from him in the past. Uh, uh, just as a very very nice person. Uh, I thank him again for his uh, his contribution. Uh, uh, these are these are Asian vine snakes. Uh, you'll recognize them immediately once uh, you see the head. Um, <laughs> and the threat posture. <laughs> Now these are rear fangs. Hello, nice to see you too. These are uh, rear fangs, and I am told uh, by Sergey that they will bite you right through their jaw, 
lower jaw, they'll embed their fangs and envenomate you. Uh, uh, so we will try to stay away from that end. Yeah, it's Vipe Keeper. Um, I think we're going to have to do some relocation because the cage that we were going to put her in is just inadequate. She's too long. Uh, we're going to probably swap out that gravid female Panisius and put her someplace else. Uh, but temporarily, uh, uh, she can go in my face. Here you go. Go in there. That would be a nice hiding spot for you for now. It's nice when they cooperate like that. Or she can be hidden in stuff. You, you can't even see her, I know. She's gone already. Um, but that will uh, hold her for a little while. She was the one that was uh, uh, in there in a most uncomfortable way. Oh, I see a little face right there peering out at me. Oh, she pulled back. Uh, oh, what a cute little face. Uh, they are very pretty snakes. Now, Sergey says that uh, they've been feeding on rosy reds. Uh, which is, you know, all that's fantastic uh, because that's easy to come by. But these guys are natural lizard eaters. Uh, I see her in the back of the cage. Uh, this is a mom. And we have some of her 2013 babies uh, I also. See her back there in the back far right corner. Yep. <clears throat> Uh, so we'll have uh, those uh, we have to house also. Uh, uh, so, you know, we've got frozen geckos, so uh, we could see how they uh, like their, uh, their uh, natural prey. <laughs> Meanwhile, the wet tars over there are like, yeah, so what? <laughs> So let's go ahead and shut this and let her calm down a little bit. We have these. The other cage. Oops. Put that back on it. Pop off. that are looking for a feed. Those guys are always looking for food. <laughs> All right. Well, this is not much of a, uh, a bush for the dad to hang out in, but it's the best I can do uh, with what's available. That is quite small. That's why I'm hesitant putting them in with a female because uh, I have to find out more about the species, whether or not they have any cannibalistic uh, tendencies. That's that. That's pretty small. Hi. I know you're sticking your tongue out. I know. Hello. How you doing? Uh, 
Uh, he's a little bit respiring, which means that he's stressed and uh, unsure of what's going on here. I can understand that. These guys would take, uh, well, they're probably a pretty good stretchy neck, so they probably take echoes. Go, go, relax, relax. Don't be pissy. There you are. It really is tiny compared to him. Yeah, he's just a little guy. I'm big and I'm bad and I bite. Right? Yeah, stick your tongue out at me. <laughs> yeah, you take that too, Mrs. Viper Keeper. <laughs> well. Very cool. I'll have to do some research on this species. Uh, not only uh, uh, how to take care of them, but uh, also uh, their venom characteristics. Now, mm -hmm. Sergey says that his friends that have uh, tried to grab them behind the head end up uh, losing chunks of their finger, which is certainly possible. Uh, uh, they are rear fang, they do have uh, a venom, and uh, apparently they use it. So let's just close this and uh, maybe let the guy settle in a little bit. All right, relax. I know it's not as homey because there is as much foliage as the girl. Well, she has. looked down. Oh, there she is. Right over here. I see you. If I can get a hold of Sergey, maybe the uh, maybe the male and female can cohabitate in in one cage. Uh, but for now, that's better than a deli cup. Mm-hmm.